a really cool new product I want to share with you. It's called the uh, Ultimate Smart Links Layer System, and it's uh, supposed to be designed so that you'll never lose another treble hook bait again. So what happens is that you have a uh, split split ring right here, and if your lure gets snagged, you can pull the split ring off like this. And if you pull enough, it'll come off. You can see the uh, split ring coming apart. Now the problem is that what happens if you hook a fish and the split ring comes off. So I'm, what I'm going to test today is how many pounds of force it takes in order to get the split ring to come off. Another thing that you have to consider is that in order to get the split ring to come off, you have to pull constantly and not let go. Once you let go, even a little bit, the split ring pops back into place. So if you have your drag set prep properly on your reel, or if the fish or if it's a fish that's not that big, it's not going to be able to pull with constant enough pressure to get the split ring to come apart like this. So I got two, I got the uh, 10 pound size, which is for 10 pound line, and it's supposed to come off around, I think, 8 pounds of force. Then I also have uh, 12 pound split rings right here. So I'm going to test right now to see how many pounds of force it takes to get the split rings to come off. To uh, disengage the hook, and you have to consider if you have like a three-pound fish, it's only going to be three pounds on your line if you pull it straight up out of the air. While it's in the water, it's only going to pull about one, one to one and a half pounds max. So that's another thing you have to consider when using this product that it's probably going to be pretty safe. I'm going to pull straight down until the split ring comes off, and we'll see how many pounds of force it takes. <sighs> Looks like uh, it was 8 pounds, 2 ounces right there. And you can see that the uh, hook came right off and the split ring stays on right here. I'm going to go ahead and uh, test the other one to see if it's uh, consistent on this one. And see, so another thing is sometimes the split ring is going to come off, but the split rings are like a dollar each, so it's still going to be worth it if uh, you lose the split ring but you keep the. Uh, Treble hook lure, which can run anywhere from five to twenty dollars, depending on what kind you buy. All right, let's do the uh, test again. I'm gonna do a straight pull down. Six, seven. Looks like it was about seven pounds, five ounces on that one. So for this uh, ten pound, ten pound rated Smart Link, it looks like um, you need about seven to eight pounds of constant pressure in order to get it the hook to disengage. So that's going to be, that's pretty reliable for bass fishing I feel because most of the time my drags only set at 5 to 6 pounds, especially for treble hook lures, even sometimes even less. I'm going to test the uh, 12 pound now and see how much it requires to um, get it to pull off. Alright, let's see if I can do this. 8, 9, Nine, ten. Ah, all right. So it looks like it's about ten pounds for this guy. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other one real quick too. All right, zero out the scale. Let's do one more test. See what we got. Ten, eleven. Looks like that one is about eleven and five ounces so you can see that the pound rating is pretty consistent with uh with what is rated for your pound line because you don't want to have it come in a 10 pound snap coming off at 10 pounds because your line will probably come out before that so if you decide to get this product you can get it at tacklewarehouse.com i think uh, you can get six of them for eight bucks so in the long run it'll definitely save you some money from from uh, losing snag layers, especially if you fish from shore, because if you have a boat you use like a lure retriever, but when you're on the shore and you get your lure stuck out in 30, 30 yards out, there's not much you can do. So with this new Smart Lake lure system, I think I'm going to be able to save a lot of money on lures, and uh, I don't think I'm going to lose any fish, but if I do, I'll post it on YouTube, and I, I definitely won't recommend using this.